Hey guys, this is W Rock. I'm Sky here back with another video. Today's a review of Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground consisted of one match, an uh, hour long match. It was a six way elimination match. Uh, this went off last week's six on six tag team match. Uh, whoever was the winning team ended up moving on to the next week. This week it was you had Taya, uh, Eva Lise, Johnny Mundo, Pentagon Jr. Uh, Phoenix, I believe was all, oh, and King Cosano. Um, the first 30 minutes of this match was really nothing great. Uh, King Cosano was eliminated, Eva Lise was eliminated, uh, Taya was the third one to go out. It really didn't actually kick up speed into the bottom three, which was Johnny Mundo, Pentagon Jr., and Phoenix. They ended up doing a lot of big stunts, jumping over the top rope, going, jumping over the ring, just pretty much doing anything they can to prove themselves, they're hitting finishers left and right. At the very end, Pentagon Jr. and Johnny Mundo decided to try to team up together to get Phoenix eliminated. Uh, they did this weird thing where Pentagon Jr. went to throw Phoenix like a, uh, kind of like an Alabama, Alabama slam on to Johnny Mundo, but when he was doing that, Phoenix went to do a roll-up on uh, Pentagon Jr., and they ended up hitting Johnny Mundo somehow. It was extremely weird how it all happened. Uh, and then Johnny Mundo was on the match, and then Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix had a 20-minute match just to themselves. It was straightforward, heavy hitting. There was Tombstone pile drivers. There was neck breaker, submission holes left and right. They were jumping off the ring ropes, doing as many high flying stunts as they possibly could. And honestly, I wish it was just Pentagon Jr. versus Phoenix for an hour because the last 20 minutes were the best part of the whole show. Uh, nothing to say for the triple threat because Johnny Mundo, when they were in triple threat, that's when Lucha Underground this week really kicked off for me. The beginning of the match was good, but there was just too much going on. And even the cameraman kind of felt like they were having a hard time to keep up with the match, which doesn't really fit well when you put it on TV. When the cameraman keep up with the match and the viewer can't keep up with the match, and that's kind of what happened at the beginning there. So as soon as it broke down to the bottom three, very easy to keep up with, and the ending of the match was just fantastic. Pentagon Jr. ended up winning, so he's going to go to uh, how is it called? Lucha something, uh, I can't remember the name of the big pay-per-view that they have. Oh, Ultima Lucha 2. Um, he's going to be facing the monster or machine, whatever you like to call him, for the Lucha Underground Championship. I think that's one week away. I think there's still one more week before that where we solidify a couple more matches that are going to happen on this pay-per-view. But overall, this week was pretty good. Um, if you just cut out the beginning half of the show, it was incredible. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 stars just because the beginning did not live up to the hype of Lucha Underground. Yeah, that's my review. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because always more to come.